Welcome everybody. So today I wanted to show you guys how I uh, format a USB drive in my in the terminal and prepare it for loading a uh, distro on it for booting into another computer and maybe installing or just checking out the live uh, live CD or uh, live media. So the first thing I do is I'll go in and uh, run lsblk to get uh, the block information from my drive. So what you see here is I have SDA which is a hard drive it's a small laptop hard drive containing uh, um, some files. It's, it's a distribution. I use that as a testing hard drive. This one is uh, my boot my current system which uh, is Peppermint 6 by the way. I've got my boot drive and my root partition here as well as uh, my swap, uh, the 8 gigs right here. And SDC is my home partition where I keep all my Steam games, media files. SDD is uh, my flash drive, so we're talking about a 4 gigabyte flash drive. So uh, the first thing I'll want to do once I've identified that my flash drive is at this location is uh, format it. So what I'll do is I run uh, su super user do make fs uh, dot v fat and then I name it uh, sandisk with a uh, tac capital I for inode and then dev uh, sdd. So what I'm doing is I'm telling it to format the drive, label it sandisk and format the drive at the location uh, sdd. So you got to be very careful not to format any of the other drives that contain actual data. Uh, you won't be able to recover it. So be very careful. When you're using uh, root abilities, there's uh, no turning back once you get started. So it's formatting the file system right now, and it's already done. So what we're going to do is actually go ahead and check the drive. So originally it was ext4. I'm going to refresh the drive and it's now FAT32. So that's a good way of uh, showing you um, how I go about it. Now, of course, I could have went in here and hit the little X key here, hit return. Let's just do that for the hell of it, right? And format it this way. This is a lot easier, actually. But I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the hard way, or at least the uh, well, I mean the hard way, meaning that um, it takes a little bit uh, less time. And you'll see what I mean. And of course, it gives you a bunch of warnings. And I'm being careful not to, not to uh, select one of my other hard drives. This takes a little bit longer doing it in um, Gparted but I find it to be extremely reliable if you go about it in the right order. So if you want to see the order that I did that in, um, I went in and I deleted the, uh, the partition. Then I went in and I um, created a new uh, partition table under device. And then I created a new, new partition. Okay, so we got ext4 again. Again, I wanted it to be FAT32. Um, I find that the easiest to work with with installing software. Refresh the drives and you'll see I'm back to FAT32. So there's a little bit of a time savings there. Okay, so now that I have my drive formatted, what I want to do is load media onto it. So I'm going to uh, change directory over to my downloads folder. And let's take a look at which one I want to install. Let's go ahead and go with... Um, something nice and small. Let's do uh, elementary OS. That's that's less than a gig. So what we want to do is as super user do DD for um, destroy destination or duplicate drive. Honestly, I don't know what it stands for. If equals and then the uh, the location of the file. Since I'm in the downloads folder already, I just need to type in the first few letters of the distro and hit tab and auto complete. And then got to be very careful. Again, select the right drive and then um, block size. I always go with 1M. I, 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 
if I go smaller, it takes uh, longer, and if I go larger, it doesn't always work. So you can uh, test that one out. Put in my password. And uh, my USB drive has a little light on it, so I look over at my computer and check that it's, uh, it's running. And so, yeah, it's blinking. So while that's running, I might as well show you guys Peppermint OS 6. I've actually been running this uh, for several months now on my desktop. And it is for a long time been one of my favorite uh, lightweight Linux distributions. One, it's it's stable. They uh, base it off of um, Ubuntu 14.04 LTS, and uh, because it's running on LXDE, it, it doesn't have a large overhead, so um, I can uh, save up a lot of RAM and and use that for my. Uh, my system resources. Now, I've got a web browser in the other window with a bunch of tabs open, so you'll see I'm using a lot of uh, a lot of RAM here, but most of this is uh, taken up by just cache. So, and, and these activities is uh, running, well, I'm actually recording this video, so that's what you see on the A conv right there. And then, of course, there's the X terminal stuff, H top. Now it's still uh, writing this to the USB drive. So take a look around. One of my favorite features in, um, in uh, Peppermint 6 is the uh, online integration. So if I wanted to, I could um, name an application, for instance. Uh, why don't I just do Google Plus, right? And then I'm going to select a web address. So in this case, uh, this would be my Google Plus homepage here. I'm going to throw this in my internet folder since it's a social network. Now you can use the site's uh, fav icon, which is friggin' awesome. They didn't have this feature previously. And um, it will try to download the fav icon from the site. And so you got the little uh, fav icon there. And uh, you have a choice of using Chrome or Chromium. Now, Pent Peppermint 6 comes with uh, Chromium, but you could always manually install Chrome if you prefer. And hit apply, and it will clear up. And voila, it's in my internet folder. And if I go over here, it's basically a web app. So you go in and click, and it will uh, display my, my uh, feed here. So you can uh, do that with all sorts of cool uh, websites that you check on a, a fairly regular basis if you just want it. Oh, and look, here we are. We're done, and we've got the drive. Now, the next part here uh, with this uh, is to test out the drive. Now, if we go back to this, we can run that again, and uh, we've got... 3.7 gigs, and uh, it's taken up space of 3.7 gigs. So it essentially closed the session. Originally, it didn't um, have data there. So we're, we are reading the data. Now, what I like to do is I like to remove the drive and then plug it back in. And depending on your, your distribution, you'll have mixed results on whether or not it actually shows up on your, your file system here. And... Uh, for me, I always seem to be having trouble uh, having it show up as uh, one of my devices once I've burned the ISO. But I assure you it does work, and uh, that's how I do it. So anyway, everyone, thanks for watching, and, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry that ran a little long, but uh, if you're interested in uh, using the terminal to uh, do that, I, maybe it was worth it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.